Uh, it's important that uh, people get an opportunity to testify at, uh, or share their point of view at committee. The Prime Minister is trying to stay positive a day before his former Attorney General will be testifying at the Justice Committee. On Monday, in a surprise move, Trudeau announced he'd be waiving solicitor-client privilege and cabinet confidentiality, allowing Jody Wilson-Raybould to speak her truth. Wilson-Raybould will be testifying Wednesday at 3.15 before she's given 30 minutes for a statement and then taking questions from members. As we said, uh, waiving privilege, uh, waiving cabinet confidentiality is something that uh, we had to take very seriously. But I'm pleased that uh, uh, Ms. Uh, wilson Riggle is going to be able to share her story. The Liberals have been under fire after allegations the Prime Minister's office pressured the former Justice Minister to help SNC-Lavalin avoid prosecution for charges stemming from work in Libya. Trudeau has insisted he was always clear the decision whether to prosecute was wilson Raybould's alone. We know they tried to interfere with an independent legal officer. They tried to get the attorney, former attorney general to change her mind. She said no. She said no on multiple occasions. Mr. Speaker, we on this side have increased resources to committees so that committees can do their work. Members from both sides sit on the Justice Committee. Justice Committee members have come together to ask for witnesses to appear. Witnesses are appearing. Wilson Raybould was demoted to Minister of Veterans Affairs from Justice in mid-January and then resigned from Cabinet a few days after the allegations were made public. She remains a Liberal MP, and she has said she intends to run as a Liberal in next fall's election. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.